Assalamu alaikum Today we will begin with the ECG basics As you can see this is a 12 lead ECG The first thing we look for at ECG is the rhythm We can find the rhythm by looking at the P wave in the rhythm strip This is the P wave and lead to a rhythm strip an upright P wave in lead to with similar morphology over multiple leads indicates a sinus rhythm. The normal duration of P wave is less than 2.5 small scale that is 100 milliseconds. So the next thing we look for at ECG is the rate we can uh, find the rate of the ECG by counting the la large boxes between a QRS complex that lies over this bold line the first box after this uh, this line is counted as 300 the next large box is counting, counted as 150 the third one is counted as 100 fourth is 75 then 60 50 and 40 so in this case as you can see uh, the rate will be 300 150 100 and 75 the rate will be between 100 and 75 that is approximately about 80 to 85 Next thing we look for is the axis. We can find the axis uh, of QRS by looking at lead 1 and ABF. Normally, the QRS in both lead 1 and ABF is upright or positive. If QRS is positive in lead 1 and negative in ABF, it will show that uh, there is right axis deviation a negative QRS in lead 1 and positive in AVF means that it is right axis deviation in cases where there is uh, QRS, QRS is negative in both 1 and AVF it means there is extreme right axis deviation Next, next thing is PR interval. PR interval it is it is uh, an interval starting from the P wave until the uh, Q wave or R wave. Here you can see this is the PR interval. Normally the PR interval is uh, less than five small scares or one large scare. Uh, that is two hundred millisecond. A PR interval uh, more than uh, 5 small scale or 200 millisecond means that there is con abnormality at AV node or below that. Next is QRS duration that is from beginning of Q wave till the end of S wave. Normally the QRS duration is less than 3 small scale or 120 millisecond. The next thing we look at in the ECG is QT interval. QT interval it is counted from the beginning of Q wave till the end of T wave. The normal QT interval is usually 4 to 400 to 440 millisecond. Between T wave and QRS complex, there is an isoelectric line. There is an isoelectric line which is called ST segment. Any ST elevation or depression in ST segment should be noted as it denotes ischemia. This was a short overview of uh, ECG basics. From tomorrow onwards, we will discuss uh, different ECG cases in detail. So, stay tuned for that.